Ah, scaffolding. Talk about the main staple here in London. Scaffolding's number one. It's one of the biggest things to see here it's in London. It's the biggest fucking palace I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm American. No. <laughs> well, look who it is. Howdy. That was sick. It's a beautiful day in the UK. <laughs> Might be the worst like British accent ever, but we're here. We're very excited because Jenna's never been. The pitch is looking lovely, lads. Oh god. Pitch looking lovely today, lads. But today we're gonna walk around and explore London. It should be Jenna's first time here. Woo! Not my first time, but I'm okay, very quit bragging. Yeah, sorry. But either way, we're oh wait, that sounds Australian. Huh? But either way, we're excited. Wait, it sounds Australian. Anyway, that, that's not why we're here. To improve our British accents, not why we're here. We're here to explore and experience London. And we're here to take you along with us. And we're here to see my brother. But anyway, we are on our way to the main staple of London. One of them. <laughs> There's too many of them. Today we're gonna start at Buckingham Palace. Ah, scaffolding. And that'll be talk about a talk about a main staple here in London. Scaffolding's number one. <laughs> We're not even going to be able to see Big Ben because it's completely covered in construction. This lighting, oh. though. It would have been so smart to bring sunglasses, but I just stereotyped London and was like, no, there's going to be no just, sun. Uh, just cloudy. Zero percent chance of sun. And what do you know? It's a hundred percent chance of sun all day, by the way. Which is good. This is amazing. It's a beautiful day, but it's sunny as shit. <laughs> Okay, so if you're wondering if we've done a lot of our research, I'm just gonna preface this and say no. We've done our research on where we want to go, but not the research behind some of these buildings. So, yeah, we're not a history channel. Go on a history tour. We're here to give you... <laughs> I need to stop, I'm sorry. <laughs> we... If you're British and offended, yeah, we... get ready to get offended. We... We, just... <laughs> we just talked about like not doing a British accent and making fun of British people. We're not making fun, I'm just so in love with Sense. No, just just say it how it is. You're you're mimicking them. No, yeah, well, you're stealing of, you're stealing their culture. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just admiring from afar and trying to become one. Anyway, this palace is really pretty. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. It's one of the biggest things to see here it's in London. It's the biggest bucking palace I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my gosh, we, she's she's got to stop. <laughs> Get it, Buckingham Palace? That was pretty. After our extremely quick stop at Buckingham Palace, we are on the way to the Westminster area, which houses one of the most famous churches in the world, the Abbey, the Westminster Abbey. See, I gotta stop doing a British accent too. I can't stop. No, I think it's good. I think it adds. It uh, adds to the flavor of the video. Yeah, we're trying. We're in London for Christ's oh sake. Oh. They don't even probably say Christ's sake. No, they don't say that. That's too southern. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go check out the Westminster area and check out Parliament, Big Ben, which I think I can see without scaffolding from here, which Woo! that'll be a huge plus and then the abbey and the abbey is like it's absolutely beautiful very excited to show jenna that because it's an absolutely beautiful place and i believe the queen is buried there she was laid to rest queen lizzie laid to rest at westminster holy crap the squad's rolling up <laughs> it's the king oh, <laughs> What group is that and how do I join? <laughs> I want to join. And what is that? I don't know, but it's the coolest thing I've ever seen. What do you call like horse riders formally? Equestrian? What are they called? Equestrians. I like how there's little reminders here that you need to look right. Because my muscle memory, I keep looking left at first, thinking cars are going to come from this way. Smart. I'm going to try not to get hit here. <laughs> These are my dad's favorite thing in the world, the hop on hop off bus. <laughs> Shout out to Jason. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I'm American. <laughs> so I may have accidentally ordered this cappuccino with a slight accent. Now it's just like I can't control it. <laughs> we came in super late last night, so we needed some fuel, but we now we're ready. Some fuel. I was gonna say this is my favorite part of London. Last time I was here, like visiting the Abbey and then visiting Parliament and just seeing everything basically all in one place is really cool. And then the river's also right up here too. So 
We're getting a beautiful architectural view of London. All right, we were gonna go into the Westminster and then we saw that it was 27 pound to get in. And that is not gonna happen. That's like our daily salary at home. So, uh, I don't think we're gonna be ending up doing that. Well, I will say this is an incredible experience. Everything is beautiful. It's like blowing my mind. How did I not, <laughs> how have I been so uneducated about London? But either way, it's been so amazing to walk around and I think I'm gonna come back with my family. Yeah, Parliament is probably one of my favorite things here. It's just amazing to look at. You just cannot believe the size of it. But the only thing about London that's a little weird is that you just can't go in any, into a lot of places or they're just really, really expensive. So really you only got two options, pay up or just check out the outside. <laughs> So we made it over to the windy London Bridge and the Tower of London. Oh my god. I don't even know if you're going to be able to hear me. Alright, we're going to go look at ticket prices. You think it's going to be under 20 or over 20? Over. Oh god, I Are hope You're going to do the under? I, I hope under. So I'm going to say under. Alright, let's see. Sorry guys, our Uber's here. We're going to have to, we're going to, have to go early. No! That is oh. literally, that is literally an Uber boat. I'm guessing you can like call an Uber and imagine that whole thing for two people. That would be insane. How much was it? It was 32 pounds. That's like 38 euros, which is then converted to probably like 40 bucks per person. That to me is unreal, unbelievable. But you've never seen it, so I kind of want to leave it up to you. Okay, we did it. <laughs> I was feeling sick about the idea of spending $30 each to buy the tickets, but then I was also feeling sick about coming to London and not spending $30 to go in anywhere, right? Yeah, because like we haven't gone in anywhere yet because <laughs> of the price. So we're doing it. Are we going to walk around for an hour and just check it out? And we, did we pay $30 for that? Probably. Yes. But it's a cool experience and this is also a really beautiful tower. It's more of a fort, but... It just looks really awesome and I'm a big history person and I love like PBS and like <laughs> Queen Victoria era and like Downton Abbey. And, like. So this fortress was first fortified in 1066 by William the Conqueror but it took about 250 years to fully complete but if you look around the Tower of London there's signs and kind of like history dates that tell you when everything was built. Now I'm sure they've been restored since like the 1100s and the 1200s, but it's still crazy to see that they built this that long ago. And it's still here, especially with this wind. Yeah, pro tip, carry around a brush. My hair is a mess. <laughs> Royal Wild Beast Exhibit might have just scarred me. <laughs> so much animal abuse and mistreatment back in the day. Oh my goodness. It's terrifying. I'm not sure why, maybe because we just finished with the new year, but this place is really, really quiet for a Friday. Also, we're here in January, which is usually supposed to be a freezing time for London, but Europe's having a warm winter this year. And besides the wind, <laughs> it feels great outside. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> also, we saved the two best things for last. We saved the White Tower, which is the main tower in the fortress, and the Crown Jewels, which I actually don't know if we can record inside for the Crown Jewels, but we'll see. But anyway, save the best two things for last, and then we're done with the Tower of London. Well, we just finished with the Crown of Jewels. Which is really fast, actually. We couldn't yes. record anything, so you're not going to see anything. Yeah. But we're officially done with the Tower of London well worth the 22 pounds we spent. Yeah. I really enjoyed it again. 24. It was worth it and it was so fun and we took about an hour and a half to do this. You could easily spend three or four hours here. Yeah. Especially if you do one of the guided tours with the oh, uh, yeah. with the Yield War Wanderers, which is just an awesome game. at the Borough 
Metro Market, which is really, really cool. And it's under this bridge and a Metro runs right over it. I don't know if this is the oldest one, but uh, it's kind of like this urban unique setting with a bunch of different food stalls. Probably gonna get some coffee, but I got a pound of chocolate with pistachio, which I've never had. Like that sounds really, really interesting. So I bought one. No chocolate. Not good. It's in there. <laughs> I promise. Is it scrumdiddlyumptious? It's quite tasty. <laughs> and I also need to take a bite of this before it you goes. You have to. <laughs> This market keeps going and going and it's so big and it's beautiful and there's lights hanging everywhere. But I like that it's covered and there's like shrubs and green growing everywhere. It's really, really, really unique. <laughs> well, we are hoping to eat something here because there's so much different international food and it all looks so rich and tasty, but we don't really have an appetite right now. We had that pistachio croissant and... Coffee. Coffee. I think we might have to force feed ourselves. Everything here looks ridiculously good. So good. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Maybe they have like an extra small bowl. Chicken curry. We got the large, even though we probably should have gotten the small. <laughs> but it looks good. Finally something, well, relatively healthy, I feel like. This chicken like melts in your mouth. It is amazing. And the cilantro, spices, curry. It's like the perfect combination we need to like refuel. We had a coffee and some carbs and a really solid meal. We're going to be ready to go for the rest of the night. Hit up the pub. Break time. See ya in our second wind. Nice rainy day in London. Okay, so we are going somewhere right now, but I'm not gonna say where. We have to use King's Cross, which is in Harry Potter. And if you look inside of this train station, you will see, I think, Platform 9. Not Platform 9 and 3 quarters, but Platform 9. And it's used in the movie. bus on the top. We're on the second story. The bus system has been so hard to figure out for us. We're always going to the wrong stops thanks to Google Maps. But this is cool. I get to see everything. I get to be very high up. You can do your own bus tour from just riding the trans public transport. We made it to Stamford Bridge. To the best club in the world, by the way. We're gonna go through the museum and do a little stadium tour. I've already been here before, but I had to do it again. Every time I come to London, I'm either gonna see a Chelsea game, or watch football, or two, go see the stadium. Because it's just something you don't do every day. Or even every year, and probably even longer. The reason we 
did come to London this weekend was specifically to see Aaron play a show. He's filling in for the drummer of Enterprise Earth and he gets to tour Europe which is just so incredible and such an opportunity he's, that he's always wanted to do and is a dream come true for him and I feel so happy that we're living in Europe right now and we can come see him play. So he was helping the band load off all the equipment so we started walking and doing our own thing, but we're about to go meet up with them. And tonight we're seeing them play, so. And we gotta get our backstage passes. Yeah, we gotta get, get our passes. We're cool. Are you ready for the show? Yep. <laughs> More than ready. This feels, the last room we played with 800 people felt a lot bigger than this one. Really? Yeah, this one seems like it's gonna be jam packed. It will be very packed. There's an upstairs area too, well, let's go check that out. This is show number five of being sold out. Tomorrow is also sold out. Smaller show though. And I think I think Paris is sold out as well. Well, we're waiting on Paris to sell out. Paris sells out, then all UK and France is sold out. Oh, it is sell out. Wee wee. It's the no crowd circuit. Oh. It's funny that they have that. But he's still gonna crowd surf. I was gonna say, there probably still will be crowd surf. We got our all access backstage passes. We're on side stage. This is gonna be awesome. Andrew and I are the only people wearing color, and we are so pumped to be here. Let's go. <laughs> We have to check that in three minutes. So yeah, so we thought this would be a great time to set up the camera and outro. It was so wonderful to see Aaron play a show. He did so well. It was mm -hmm. so incredible. And it's funny because growing up, living in Spain's always been a big dream of mine and his has been touring Europe. And it was so cool to see both of our dreams collide at the same time and get to be there for him and support him. And God, it was just such a good time. And I'm so glad that I got to make it out. This wraps up our London vlog. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. And we will see you back in Spain. <clears throat> Toodaloo. Ta ta for now. Yeah, sorry for our really bad British accent. Don't apologize for things that don't need apologies. We've blessed them with our, with Just our like British that. accent. Just like that. I'm We've so sorry. We've blessed them. <laughs> really apologize.